about the church and who we are and what makes us different, we do not use foam as our protection method for our helmets. This blue material that you see inside here is called PPU, thermal plastic material. Okay, we used to use foam in our helmets. When we found TPU, it works better, so we switched to that about 10 years ago. If you look at any of your independent tests, whether it's with the Tech Star study or the NFL study, we dominate the test. Pardon the pun, but we have a material advantage over everybody else because we use TPU and everybody else uses foam. TPU, uh, it started in the automobile industry. All of your energy absorption zones, your impact absorption zones. Essentially what that is, is a layer of TPU underneath that portion of the car. So when your car takes a contact, the TPU absorbs that energy, absorbs the vibration, and stops it from going elsewhere, which is what you want to have happen in a helmet, okay? Another advantage of TPU over foam is it's not affected by temperature. Why does that matter? Because you're gonna play games when it's 85, and you're gonna play games when it's 35. Anybody in here, what happens to a piece of foam when you leave it outside and it's freezing cold out? It's, it's really hard, right? Man, it gets brittle. What happens to it if you leave it outside and it's really hot? No. It's really soft, right? All that affects how it can protect somebody. TPU is not affected by temperature. Whether it's 30 degrees or 85 degrees or 105 degrees, it stays in its natural state and protects the way that it's supposed to. Okay? It's also more durable. We all get new tennis shoes. After about three or four months, we're like, man, these things aren't springy like they used to be. That's foam. Foam takes a set. TPU doesn't do that. It stays in its natural state. So it's going to protect you on day one the same way it does to protect you when that helmet is 